it's Shana Bernard and welcome back to this episode of GGTV. Today we are so excited. Today we are introducing to you our channel veterinarian, Dr. George. I can't wait for you guys to meet him. He is absolutely fabulous. So here he is, Dr. George, our resident veterinarian of Global Groomers TV. Very exciting. Today we are talking about a very, very serious subject, and I've been seeing it tons and tons on social media, is can the COVID-19 virus be transferred from your pet, from your dog, to you? Hello, I'm uh, Dr. George. I'm a veterinarian, uh, originally from Romania, uh, came to Canada almost 20 years ago, um, and I'm happy to join the GGTV um, as a, a channel veterinarian. I intend to be here present every month to answer your questions and uh, hopefully help mine the gap between uh, veterinarians and other professionals that they are involved in the um, uh, pet industry. Um, so, groomers, breeders, dog trainers, I'm willing and happy to answer as many of your questions. Um, feel free to drop a line um, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, shine a little bit of light from the backstage of veterinary medicine that impacts all of the other careers. So, Dr. George, as our resident expert, can you tell us, can the COVID-19 be transferred from your pet and canine to a human? So, what we know right now is that the pets cannot get sick with this virus. So, they cannot get sick and transmit it that way. However, they are considered as more or less everything around us, a uh, quote-unquote fomite, which is uh, a vector or, or a, a way to take the virus from point A to point B. So the, the question is a little bit loaded and the answer is a little bit in the gray zone in a way that can they spread the, spread the disease? Yes, they can spread the disease because, for example, if you are infected and you sneeze or you touch the dog or the, or the, the spray from your sneeze touches the dog, the virus will be alive on the surface of the dog for a certain amount of time, usually a few hours. What is that actual time? Is that about Well, it depends on... Uh, we do not have uh, the dog or the cat as a surface that is researched. They researched a, uh, a bunch of surfaces like uh, metal, wood, um, laminate, those... And usually it is in within hours, two to four hours. Um, and the, you know, it's not a virus that is very resistant outside, so it has to go from um, individual to individual and, and likes to go in humans. Um, however, the dog can be, you know, so-called a vector, right? So, for example, if I have COVID and this dog is mine and I sneeze on my dog before it comes to you, yes, you are going to be more exposed. So no. did, did you guys get that part? Just, you guys are all groomers out there. This is super important. Just maybe recap and really pay attention to this part. It is very important that we protect each other as much as possible. And we have to be honest and as infected or quarantined or um, if we traveled in the last 14 days, we have to be respectful with our fellow, you know, groomers, uh, breeders, kennels. Uh, vets, Humans. whoever is, a, whatever human part that would get in touch with this individual that it can be a source of transmitting to uh, other humans. It also applies, if we just use common sense, if you are taking your dog for a walk in the park. Now, as a COVID positive, you should not be out, you should be in the house, um, but again, if you are in the house and your son that is not infected yet is taking the dog for a walk and someone in the park goes and pets your dog and says, oh, you are so cute or give kisses or whatever, that can potentially, we don't know enough, we don't know all the, I mean, this is a very new virus, it's a very new disease, 
We don't know a lot, but we have to just use common sense. Right, common sense is key. So, so well, that's great, George, but seriously, I was just on social media two days ago. I saw five dogs in Texas dropped off because the people were completely convinced that they were going to die of corona because of their dogs. So they dropped them off at the SPCA. Like, tell me, is this possible? So it, it is not possible. People, they overreacted and um, a part of it is because of um, not being educated in a disease that is so new. So I cannot blame them, but on the other hand, the way how we have to think of our pets, even if you are infected, they are actually your chance to get better. Because there are thousands of studies showing that pets, that they just create that, that balance, that immunity, that happiness that will help you go through the disease. They are your cure. There is the way to get through this. Don't get rid of them. Love them. Yeah, maybe don't expose them to other people to spread the disease, but they are your cure. And you are giving that away. You have to change that and, and to look at your pet as, as your chance to get better faster. And, and this is not just with corona, with any disease. They just help you get better. It's not necessary or recommended to get rid of them. Just be aware. And it's hard for me to say as a veterinarian, the dog is not an object. The dog is not a surface. It's very rude to say that. But for this particular disease, you have to think of it as that way. Yes, you, and you have to realize that this is not something that you can spray with an antiviral uh, solution that you can spray a surface. So unfortunately, you have to be just more aware that it's a living thing that can, on, its, on his or her surface, carry the disease in different location, physical location. And that is the only thing, but otherwise, this is what you need to have in your home to make you feel better and get better sooner and, and, and you know, to help other people. Legitimately checks out. Honestly, even when I'm personally working too hard or anything, like, look at this little dog. This is our own little dog. And she's like, what? She doesn't care. You need to have your animals. Thank you so much, George. I really hope you guys love Dr. George. I feel like it's unfortunate that we're coming in on such unfortunate circumstances. Obviously, this was current and what's happening. That's what GGTV is doing for you. We want to be current affairs and newsworthy. But also, what we really want is what we want you guys to get involved. We want you to drop it in the comments. The biggest reason that Dr. George and I are doing this is that we want to mind the gap between groomers and veterinarians. We've talked about this for years, yes. haven't we, George? And, and, and people, they have to understand that at the end of the day, uh, groomers, breeders, uh, dog trainers, veterinarians, out there for the same purpose. Absolutely. Is we, are, we, are the, we are in the purpose of enjoying these, Our beautiful these pets. animals. So thank you guys so much. I really hope that you guys are loving Dr. George as much as we do. Thank you so much, George, for oh, being here. It is my pleasure, and I'm, I'm hoping to be here and help every month with a little bit of drop of veterinary. Uh, you know what? It's so huge. The biggest reason that George and I have been talking about this for a very long time, George has been my, my own personal vet for my own dogs. Crazy Mary loves him. She's, she just loves him so much. Uh, is because of our communication and our most important thing, never mind the COVID thing, obviously that's a huge thing. We want to mind the gap between groomers and veterinarians. We want to make it better. We need you people to be involved in this. Drop it in the comments, please. I hope you guys love this segment. Dr. George is going to be back once a month. Thank you guys. Subscribe, like, and share. GGTV. We can make it better. Yeah, we can. For more information, if you want to know who I am, where I work, what I do, what I like in veterinary medicine, what I like to do in my uh, free time, please feel free to visit our website at laservet.ca. Um, I am a veterinary at Hartman Veterinary Clinic in Etri, and I'm more than happy to share as much information as you need whenever you need them, just drop a line.